Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday morning on the Supercars London YouTube channel. Uploaded on Tuesday evening. <laughs> but as you'll probably know, this is the way that my daily vlogs run. It's filmed throughout the day, edited in the evening or in the morning, and then uploaded the following afternoon to try and give you a daily vlogs. And sadly, this is the last week of the daily vlogs before I go on holiday. And that doesn't mean that the daily videos don't stop. I have worked hard and still need a lot more time to edit the videos, but I do have one video every single day whilst I'm away in Portugal. So you see some of the YouTubers um, that go away on holiday and upload one or two videos whilst they're away. Like me last year, actually, I think I uploaded two or three videos whilst I was away in Portugal, but this year, seven. Every single day, Supercars of London has a new YouTube video whilst I'm away, which I'm really proud of, and I'm still working throughout this week to do that, which means a lot of editing. I'm currently driving the Audi R8 Spider to SB Race Engineering to pick up my car, to then drive it over to Essex and GAD Tuning and Dub Customs. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is how dirty the car is. From the Goodwood field, Backs are awful. Look at that. It's going to get a good clean when it gets back to Audi. But wow, look at the black. And there's my car over there with two 430s. Oh my god. Can you believe it? First mile, or first few meters, should I say, in my car, with the stock exhaust back in, and I don't even need to talk loudly. The sound has gone. Completely gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Listen to that exhaust system. There's the gad wagon. Let's pull in. Oh no, it's blocked. That's where I need to go. So we've made it down to Dub Customs and GAD Tuning Facility in Essex and the plan for today is as follows. My car, um, although the majority of the liquid dip has come off in one amazing peel, there are still little bits where the paint is slightly thinner and that's due to um, just it very, very difficult to get to the nooks and crannies in between the doors and things like that. But that needs to go completely so that the car is completely silver and ready for resale. So that is happening. The wheels have to go back to titanium. The brake calipers have to go back to black. Let's go and have a look at the progress, see how the guys are getting on, and um, I will talk you through some of the bits and pieces that's having, happening to the car. And I keep saying bits and pieces. So these bits need to come off, and it's relatively easy, and also very noisy. Um, and also the grey needs to come off here so that these grills go back to matte black and it just looks very messy at the moment but guys are working hard door handles still missing that will be replaced these are going back to titanium brake calipers going back to black so the spoiler for the first time I think since baby blue has gone back to silver so that's an odd odd look then I'm gonna put the chrome Audi badge back on it's gonna have a chrome R8 bit there Get this in the vlog. Get it in. Is this wheel number one? Oh, uh, this is wheel number two. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's still a filthy job. Yeah, yeah, lots of brake dust. Okay. Lots of brake okay. dust. <laughs> Get this. Alright, it's fiddly, isn't it? Getting your fingers yeah. into the. Look at like, that! 
like doing doing this rim yeah was was really easy you just yeah and it's, but then you, as soon as you get into little bits with gaps and stuff and it starts breaking away and it becomes a bit trickier why well, didn't audi design flat facing wheels <laughs> so everyone could just liquid dip them and take it off easily i'm struggling just by doing this can't even pick my hands up i've got no sorry that's the wrong sentence. I can't even pick my phone up because my hands are so dirty. But that is wheel relatively done. There's Anthony's hand. <laughs> that is insane. I'm going to go and wash my hands now, I think. We are working our way through here. I say we, I've basically peeled off a wing mirror and about half, 50% of one of the wheels. The guys are smashing it, Gad Shooting and Dub Customs, both getting their hands dirty to make sure that my car is looking beautiful. We've also ordered a new door handle and the R8 symbol in chrome as well. So I've got the chrome Audi badges, they're going back on. It's gonna be looking beautiful. It's gonna be a stunning example of the Audi R8. And I've just been speaking to Ben from Aspect Valeting as well, and I'm heading down there tomorrow, which you would have already seen on Instagram as this video is going live, that I'm with Ben for Aspect valeting whilst the car is getting make it well it's going to be absolutely stunning and it's going to be so clean i don't particularly want to drive at home as well and i'm also going to try and head to a dealership in guildford as well that have got a lamborghini i'm going to go and check out so i might put that in a vlog as well but as i'm filming this i've just posted out on instagram and twitter that my overall platform of supercar scene, supercars of London and the Wallace PJW Instagram and Twitter has hit over 500,000 followers. So thank you all guys and girls for following uh, my journey and joining me on my journey of whatever I'm getting up to is unbelievable and so overwhelming. Like how many, how many people actually follow what I get up to on a daily basis? It's utterly insane and um, I think it's time to get some lunch soon I'm starting to feel hungry uh, so let's go and see what the progress is like and whether anyone's hungry problem is my car is um, currently got no wheels on it so I can't drive to lunch there's my car so yeah someone else is gonna have to drive unfortunately or maybe they'll give me the Mansory um, s-class to take to lunch the mafia wagon Now coming to the end of the day down at Dub Customs and the car is getting washed off. Look how classy it looks and look how much I'm frowning. I need my sunglasses on, I'm gonna face this way. Um, but the car is looking beautiful and it sounds, I don't know, it just sounds like an Audi V8, which uh, I've missed, but the Army Chicks exhaust obviously played a huge part in this car. And uh, tomorrow I'm down at Aspect Balloting, getting a full interior and exterior detail. All of the badges are gonna be going back on the car the door handles coming back on and then the rest of it is on a list on my phone so I have no idea what it is off the top of my head but ladies and gentlemen Dub Customs have absolutely smashed it today I've been here since about half past nine and it's now five past seven in the evening so it's one of those long days when there's a transformation in the car but it's one that is worth it and I just ah, uh, time for the car to go up for sale soon Who's gonna miss it? Let me know in the comment box whether you're gonna miss the RA or whether you think the replacement, when it comes, is gonna be better than that. Wow, what? It's warm in here for one, two, it's quiet, and three, it smells clean. Can't thank the guys enough at Dub Customs and Gad Tuning, who basically collaborated together to make my car prep my car, I think that's the best way of putting it. They prepped, they did a pre-prep on my car to make it ready for sale. And I tell you what, the work that has been put in today has been unreal. I spent an hour trying to get the liquid dip stuff off, the nooks and crannies on this car, the wheels. I didn't even attempt the brake calipers, but you saw how dirty my hands got with the space of like five minutes of trying to do it. So you can kind of understand how near enough 12 hours 
getting the last bits of grey, black off the wheels and green off the calipers has taken and oh my god, I'm just so thankful. And then tomorrow, Aspect Valeting, I'm going to be heading down towards Eastleigh where I went to the Inky Hive Centre, I'm going back there tomorrow. And then uh, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to be meeting up back with Dub Customs who are going to have my door handle, the R and the 8 that go on the back. I've got the Audi badges and um, yeah, I think we're near enough there. And I can't believe that I went over half a million followers over across the whole platform. It's just insane figures. So thank you guys. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe and let's get out to a million as soon as possible. That is the goal. One million followers across the Supercars of London, Wallace, PJW and Supercar scene platform. Thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow. Skills to we'll the see, test. We'll see what we can do. We've got some good country roads. So um, we, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this car. Obviously, to just.